Welcome, and thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist, and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you, because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is on an effective approach to help anxiety and depression. Now, questions we will be asking are, how is hypnotherapy approach different? And are there more unconventional methods of dealing with anxiety and depression? And bringing us this great information is Eric Christopher. Welcome, Eric. Thank you, Tina. Thank you for having me on Knowledge for Wellness. I am so delighted you could join us and educate my viewers on this new unconventional way. Well, thank you. That would be my passion and pleasure. Great. And speaking of that, I'd really like for you, since this is your first time on Knowledge mm -hmm. for Wellness, and to tell my viewers a little bit about yourself mm -hmm. and how you actually got into this profession. Well, I went to the University of Wisconsin, Stout, mm -hmm. for marriage and family therapy. And I went through that program about 13 years ago. Okay. But while I was there, I attended a Body, Mind, Spirit conference. Okay. And I saw a practitioner uh, do some amazing work in one session uh, for somebody that had lifelong anxiety. Mm. And something in me was telling me this is what I wanted to learn how to do. Sure. This type of work that's results oriented mm -hmm. and, uh, and fast and effective. So after I graduated from the MFT program and, and I decided at that point to uh, get as much training as I could in hypnotherapy. Yes. So I, I probably studied numerous modal many modalities of uh, hypnotherapy in fact traveled not only to the Netherlands but to Brazil and the East Coast and the West Coast uh, and kind of pursuing some of my you know what I felt to be some very uh, experienced and knowledgeable practitioners some of the best I feel Wow, and your statistics are oh, great. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Um, this is an approach mm -hmm. where you get at the root of the problem okay. in a fast and effective manner. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, you don't need to come uh, more than one to four sessions. Yeah, so could you tell my viewers, um, you know, how your approach is so different than the more conventional ways of going week after week to a therapist? Well, that and, and nothing against that. I, I want to say that absolutely has its value. Yes. But when dealing with, say, for instance, anxiety or depression or some kind of stuck feeling. Yes. Uh, when dealing with that, many times in the conventional approach, it's thought upon as something to battle against or distract yourself from. Okay. Uh, and rather than let's put this feeling that's nagging at you under a microscope, the microscope of hypnosis. Okay. And let's go and dive within it mm -hmm. and see what actually makes up this anxiety. Mm -hmm. Let's see where it came from. Okay. Uh, so you're not suppressing it at all. You're mm -hmm. actually owning up to it and seeing why it's there and has why it's presented itself. In, you're right. Okay. Instead of thinking this anxiety, depression is something to get away from, mm -hmm. which is natural. Everyone, nobody wants to feel it. No. Uh, so you try to, naturally, we try to get away from it. Mm -hmm. But if you do something paradoxical, okay. and that is take that feeling, anxiety and depression, that which you're most trying to get rid of, and treat it differently. Okay. Treat it as like a five-year-old nagging at you, okay. nagging at you. Mm -hmm. Something's trying to get your attention. Okay. So when, when this anxiety and depression episode kicks off, uh, that means that something that wants your attention yes. to be placed on it. And when you can be when you can place your focus and attention on it mm -hmm. in a deep in a deep matter, that's when you can actually see through, release mm -hmm. the roots of it, okay. the core causes of this anxiety or depression. And that's why it works in, in just a matter of a few sessions. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so when you're doing this, you actually 
own it and you mm -hmm. find out why it has taken toll on you. Yes. And you deal through it with you. Yes. It's almost as though you're a detective mm -hmm. and you're finding out where did this anxiety begin? Okay. Because, or this depression begin? Mm -hmm. Because the truth is you were not born with depression. We're not born with anxiety. Right. When we're children, we're open to the world and mm -hmm. we want to experience it. But somehow through the course of life, something happens and uh, people develop these anxiety disorders or, or panic or fear mm -hmm. or something arises to just hold you back, to yes. make you feel stuck mm -hmm. in life. And uh, that whatever is causing you to feel stuck, instead of trying to run away from it, actually put your full focus and attention on it and see what are the subtle subconscious thoughts beliefs mm -hmm. and feelings what what make up this sense of stuckness and when you can do that you can actually let it go and release it and, and cause you to be unstuck mm -hmm. because we do want to be the best we can be and mm -hmm. i mean to take a step to even go to therapy is mm -hmm. you know right there rewarding Absolutely. for someone to do that mm -hmm. but to get this resolved within oh you said maybe three or four sessions mm -hmm. with this this is results-oriented therapy. Mm -hmm. The reason being is because uh, it, the, the, where our problem lies is in the subconscious mind. It's in the subconscious beliefs. Okay. A subconscious belief, for instance, that I can't make a mistake oh. or I, I'm, I'm unworthy. Mm -hmm. uh, that is often at the very deepest uh, core mm -hmm. of, of some people and they'll feel that. That's underneath a lot of depression. Uh, so that, however, is something that, okay, you pick that up somewhere. Mm -hmm. For instance, if we, um, put the, if we put anxiety or depression under a microscope, especially depression, let's use that for an example, sure. you're going to find that it's made up of a lot of negative self-talk, yes. a lot of subconscious thoughts or beliefs mm -hmm. uh, that, in, and you weren't born with negative self-talk. No. When you trace it back, when and by doing so, and when I say take your focus and of attention and go within it, feel that depression in the body. Let yourself feel it. Mm -hmm. And what are the subtle beliefs that make that up? Well, it's not difficult to do. We simply imagine, I have the client imagine, that they give that feeling, that heavy feeling, the feeling that they most want to let go of, give it a mouth. Mm -hmm. What does it want to say? What does it want to express? And, and uh, you find out, well, let it say, I feel blank. Well, I feel lost. I feel lost because blank. And mm -hmm. basically we take it and we get to the fear beneath the fear or the feeling beneath the feeling. Okay. And that's where we get the subconscious uh, programs. And we find out where those began. Yes. And we can, that, once you have that awareness, you can do a lot of key work to let it go. Yeah. And what a great relief for that person. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Now, do you also, you work you as a marriage therapist. That's correct. And you also work with depression, anxiety, and mm -hmm. post-traumatic syndrome as yeah. well. So do you have to fall into that category to come see you? Or do you work with any specific people? Well, the people, you don't have to have, you don't have to fall into any category. Okay. All you have to do is notice, become aware of something that you most want to get rid of. Okay. Uh, I love working with PTSD, okay. uh, post-trauma, uh, because I, I, you, you really weren't born with that. No. And there's a, some wonderful effective approaches in dealing with PTSD. I don't, I work, uh, it's one approach is called the Emotional Freedom Technique, okay. EFT. And if you go to the website EFTUniverse.com, you'll find all kinds of information it specializes in mm -hmm. letting, uh, releasing the deep panic and anxiety of post-traumatic. Yes. And so those are, that's an, a fast and, a, and effective approach. Now, other people that come to me might be people that have, uh, they've uh, seen counselors for many, many years, mm -hmm. and they may intellectually understand their depression mm -hmm. or their anxiety and they may know where it comes from but still they feel stuck in the same uh, familiar patterns mm -hmm. 
And not that the counseling wasn't helpful. Right. Granted, it was very helpful. And, and in some ways, it's like they, they needed to understand it at mm -hmm. a certain level. But then when they're ready to move to the next level, mm -hmm. for instance, they may feel that, hey, they moved past this and they've kind of got this depression under control or this anxiety. But then a stressful event happens. Okay. And then it raises to the surface. Ah, just that last little bit mm -hmm. of pa unresolved past within you that wants your attention. Okay. So when you place it, uh, when you place your focus and attention on it, it, within it will hold the keys to it to, to let it go okay. and release it. So it no longer affects your present. Mm -hmm. So I, my big passion is to tell people that if you're suffering with something, anxiety mm -hmm. or depression, it doesn't necessarily have to be something you have to battle with for years. Mm -hmm. It can be uh, something that you can get extreme relief from in just a matter of a couple of sessions, a session or two. Wow. But simply, that's why hypnotherapy is so effective is because it attacks the issue or the problem at the root of it, the subconscious level. Okay. That's where the problem lies, so that's where we do therapy from. Right, so anxiety and depression basically comes from... What it comes down to, if you like for instance in a session, mm -hmm. if we put that uh, anxiety under a microscope, mm -hmm. we're gonna find a sensation in the body, mm -hmm. a tightness somewhere in the body, mm -hmm. and we'll find as we approach further, well, what, what is the, the thoughts or the assumptions or the beliefs that make up this fear? Mm -hmm. And so it's made up of a sensation in the body, okay. a memory, and some kind of belief. Okay. That is what anxiety can that's what can form anxiety mm -hmm. and so but when you can begin to deconstruct it or dissect this oh, sure. anxiety mm -hmm. and see what it's really made of oh it was made from my, some beliefs mm -hmm. that I wasn't born with but I obtained these beliefs mm -hmm. in some situation event or circumstance that was probably scary or hard at the time mm -hmm. and that leads into another cause of, for instance, anxiety. Uh, for instance, the mind will have, can have a memory. Maybe it's a painful or hurtful memory. Mm -hmm. Body feels that memory. Mm -hmm. For sure. instance, you can have a joyful thought. Body feels that thought. Have a, an angry thought, body will feel that thought. Sure. But if you have a painful emotion or hurtful experience, uh, the body will feel that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes early on, uh, we've had these experiences that were hurtful. Mm -hmm. Now, energy, this emotions are meant to be emoted through us. They're meant to be energy in motion. And if they somehow don't get an opportunity to be expressed or emoted through us, it can begin stuck energy okay. in the body. And over years, that stuck energy can turn into anxiety. And then years later, aches and pains in the body, actually. Uh, so what we're doing is going into that, that kind of stuck energy in the body or that old fear mm -hmm. that actually it's getting triggered. Okay. And you, you know it's there because that's what's actually being triggered. So it's mm -hmm. actually you just, it's just a matter of going within mm -hmm. to that feeling that you most want to let go of. Mm -hmm. And within you, your own inner guidance system will show you uh, where you need to go, what memory needs to be kind of let go and release the energy of it, what needs resolution. So it's about what, when you go within, you'll get what you need. That's essentially the theme of this. And then you help be with the hypnotherapy mm -hmm. when you when someone goes into your office and they talk with you. Mm -hmm. So could you just walk us through, let's say I make an appointment with you. Okay. So walk me through a session with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll give you a perfect case example. Okay. A woman client of mine mm -hmm. just uh, started grad school and it was something that she really wanted to do. Yes. But she's four weeks into the grad program mm -hmm. and she's noticing this feeling extremely stressed very stressed, mm. a panicky, anxiety stressed. Oh. And then so much so that she wants to 
and get out of the program. Wow. But yet there's a part of her that really wants to be in this program. Mm -hmm. So, well, how to, how to deal with that panic and anxiety when going through school? Mm -hmm. So she came to me mm -hmm. and, well, we put that feeling under a microscope okay. again. Uh -huh. Feel it in the body. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel that panic? When, you know, first of all, go to, a, go to the recent time when you felt that panic. And then she, mentally she goes there and notices where in the body do you feel it? Mm -hmm. Well, she could feel it right here. Okay. Well, let's go and give that panic of a mouth. Let's, in, in your mind's eye, you, you uh, travel down and you give it a microphone. Give, let it express itself. Okay. What does it want to say? Let it say, I feel blank. Mm -hmm. Start out that way. Sure. And so for her, I, I feel scared. Oh. And I feel scared because... I might, I might blow this test. Yes. And if I blow this test, that means I'm this loser. Mm. I might make a mistake. I can't make a mistake. And that's what kept coming to her. I can't make this mistake. Oh, she has to be perfect. She grateful. has to be perfect. Yes. I can't make a mistake. Mm. So we trace that. Where did that belief, that subconscious program, I, ha I, I have to be perfect on this test. Mm -hmm. I can't make a mistake. Well, if anyone has that program going on, that's going to be tremendous pressure. Mm -hmm. Anyone would feel stressed mm -hmm. if you f believed that you couldn't really make a mistake. Now, intellectually, of course, she knew that it's okay to make a mistake. Uh, however, there's a part of her that was unresolved, part of her from the past. Uh, and that's what was getting triggered, this subconscious belief, I can't make a mistake. So we went down and met that. We found out where did that program begin? Mm. And once we could see, oh, it, it began by that mind program or that, it's like a computer program that we operate from mm -hmm. until we, it's a faulty computer program until we detect, ah, that's the faulty computer. That's where it began. Sure. Let's let the energy of that situation be let go and released mm -hmm. let's kind of reprogram the subconscious mind sure. and then feel what it will feel like if you operated without that yeah getting rid of the virus yes yes that's right mm -hmm. it's like absolutely mm -hmm. getting rid of that virus and at a deep level at a subconscious level you feel what it would feel like to let go of that because yes. you don't believe it at a deep level anymore mm -hmm. that little girl that picked up that uh message mm -hmm. We had to go back to a time when she felt that as that little girl. And that was like the stuck energy in the body okay. that wanted to be let go, that wanted to have expression. Maybe mm -hmm. it never had a chance to be fully articulated or expressed. So it's simply a matter of letting that go. And then the most important part, get back your own energy yes. that held you back because of that mind program. Mm -hmm. Get back the, your potential that you lost because of that mm -hmm. belief. Yeah. because of that feeling and so she felt all this confidence coming back from her oh, that's and powerful. as a result yes. of one session she told me a week later she absolutely loves school now oh and that program just lost its power mm -hmm. because when a mind program or a thought gets its power when we subtly believe it. Mm -hmm. A belief will give that mind program its power. But when you don't believe it at a deep level, and that's essentially what this work is about, mm -hmm. going down and, and all of those subconscious beliefs that we operate from, you see them uh, and you see through them. So they no longer, you don't believe them. Mm -hmm. You don't believe you're this negative, bad person. There's a part of you that doesn't believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we, so we tap into that part of yourself that doesn't believe that they can mm -hmm. see that this is just a program I picked up yes. it's not who I am so therefore you can let it go and then not believe it and that's why it's stuck in one session and she loves school wow. so that's it that's an example of how this can work at a very fast effective level mm -hmm. uh, and a pace just because we attack the roots of it Wow. So that only took one session, mm -hmm. which is that common? Just one session or how many sessions do you actually need? To she had done a lot of counseling work in the past. Okay. So she laid the groundwork mm -hmm. to a lot of this stuff. Uh, and again, she said, well, I thought I had worked through that already. Okay. And this type of therapy is also for people that feel like they've worked through it already. Mm -hmm. I know it intellectually, but yet something was getting triggered. Okay. And so 
That's why it only lasted for uh, one session. But it, depending on how chronic the issue is, sure. it might take two, three, four sessions. Okay. But with every session, mm -hmm. you'll feel empowered after the session. Oh, okay. And however, maybe a week or two will go by and you'll feel like you lose some of that empowerment. Mm -hmm. Well, then we come back and we reinforce it. Yes. And, and maybe it's a, a second, but with each session, clients will feel a shift oh. towards that. Yeah, it's almost impossible to not feel a shift with every session because we're doing this work at the subconscious level where the roots of the problem are. Yeah. So the end of the session, you actually come away feeling so much better. Yeah. And y yes, you benefited right there with one session. I've rarely seen a session where the client hasn't left feeling much lighter. Yes. A sense of empowerment. Mm -hmm an essential of, of uh, courage and strength. Sure. And uh, it's like they got their old self back again. Mm -hmm. Oh. It doesn't mean yeah. that all of a sudden these old mind programs don't come in again. Mm -hmm. uh, however, they won't be as powerful. Okay. They won't be as powerful anymore because at a deep level you've already seen through it. You don't believe it quite as much as you did before. Mm -hmm. And that's with any negative subconscious belief. Wow. So, Eric, I know that a lot of therapy is covered by insurance, mm -hmm. and this is pretty much non-conventional. Uh -huh. Is a session with you covered through insurance? Some insurances do cover hypnosis. Okay. However, I spend my time mostly focused on the therapy itself, sure. so I don't actually bill the insurance company. You're, I tell the clients that they're welcome to do the legwork themselves, and I'll be happy to sign any forms. Okay. But typically, my sessions, I charge $75 an hour. Okay. And typically sessions will be about two hours. Uh, and uh, also, if, you, uh, if you've had one session, the first session, it is possible to have a short session, even over the phone at times, oh. to kind of, kind of reinforce you. Mm -hmm. that, that can happen at times. The subsequent sessions sometimes don't have to be two hours. But definitely the first one is when we're spending some time going to the root of the issue. Right. And this sounds like a great way because the first time you get to know the person always takes a little bit longer. Always. First yeah. sessions mm -hmm. are always a little bit longer. Right. Yeah. And then once you know what they want to work on, yeah. because you look at that person individually and you know where they their goals are as well as your own. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. It's essential that they know what they most want to accomplish, mm -hmm. what they most want to move past, what they most want to let go of. Sure. And uh, to know that that's a possibility, mm -hmm. they can do that, and mm -hmm. that's a, and uh, that's that's not only a possibility, but that can be very much a reality to them. Mm -hmm. Some people haven't; they've a depression. Sometimes can be something that you've known your entire life, or anxiety. Mm -hmm. But that's, and sometimes this can be passed down generation to generation. I tell you, they say they say depression or anxiety can be. Uh, passed down to the generations, and that's true. But also, how ang how anger or love is expressed or not expressed mm. is usually passed down uh, generation to generation, and and that is also what contributes to the anxiety or depression. Also, yeah. so that's what we take a look at that, and we actually can do some intergenerational healing, which is very helpful in that form, uh, going within and doing some deep work that way. Right. And I love the idea that you also work with post-traumatic stress syndrome, which is mm -hmm. the initials for? P, uh, PTSD. Yes. Uh, that's some of my favorite things to work with. Right. And uh, I often will use a combination of emotional freedom technique, the tapping technique with hypnotherapy, uh, hypnosis, mm -hmm. to help eradicate the roots of the PTSD that have such a grip on someone a frozen grip on yeah. someone we can especially melt that. those of our boys that are out to war yeah that's right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they'll find that a lot of their with one session uh, they can really let go a lot of the the uh, emotional trauma of that yes. with with uh, EFT and I would encourage people to check out that website EFT yes that sounds great Thank well we have a few minutes left and I anything special that you want to throw out to my viewers a little piece of information they can uh, you know, go home with? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. I would say that beneath the core of, of everyone 
there is harmony and there's deep peace. That can be experienced. And how to experience it is actually in a paradoxical way. Go through the feeling that is causing the most problem. When you go through it and when you go beneath it does lie that peace. It just wants your attention. That anxiety or to think about this anxiety or a stuck feeling in a different way. Think of it as something that wants your attention and when you can give it your attention and do uh, the work, resolve what hasn't been quite resolved with you, you will experience a deep level of harmony. And if anyone, and allow yourself the gift to experience that. That's a, not an intellectual concept, but it's actually a deep experience that you'll feel at the end of the session. So if you've seen this program, Knowledge for Wellness, uh, and you mention that, you'll have $25 off your, your session, your initial session. Well, thank you, Eric. I want to thank you for your insight on this great non-conventional method. All right. Thank you, Tina, for having me here. Yes. It's been a pleasure. It's been a delight. Thank mm -hmm. you. If you have any questions or would like to contact Eric Christopher, please contact them at www.ericjchristopher.com or call his office at 651-649-1952. And please tune in to my other shows of Knowledge for Wellness being televised throughout the Twin City area. And you can visit me on my website at www.knowledgeforwellness.com. And you can also connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. And the mission of Knowledge for Wellness is to inform viewers on health issues, to expose, educate, and make viewers aware to enhance themselves and their loved ones for a better quality of life. And I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. Until next time, be well and goodbye. Thank you, Eric. <laughs>